When Paris Saint-Germain more than doubled the world transfer record for Neymar in August, everyone in the football world was stunned. Stunned by the audacity of the transfer, stunned that Neymar would want to leave Barcelona for PSG, and stunned by the sheer amount of money involved. But in some ways, if anyone was going to be involved in a transfer this colossal and groundbreaking, it made sense that it was Neymar. Because from his earliest playing days, Neymar was viewed as the chosen one, the boy who would save Brazilian football. Anakin Skywalker in a pair of night boots. And in the view of some, he's now Darth Vader. Neymar was born on February the 5th, 1992, in a small town near Sao Paulo. Aged just six, he was spotted by Bettinia dos Santos, a scout for Santos who had also discovered Robinho. He started doing some tricks with the ball, tricks that a normal kid would never do. I was shocked, said Bettinho. At that point, he was known as Juninho. But when he signed his first contract with Santos, he adopted the name Neymar, after his father, who would guide his career from the very beginning. Neymar was 17 when he made his debut for Santos in March 2009, a substitute against Oeste, scoring his first goal the following week, and before long, he was not only established in the team, but became their most important player. In 2010, West Ham made an ambitious attempt to sign him, but their offer was rebuffed as Santos built their team around him, and it worked. That year, he came third in the South American Footballer of the Year award. His power at Santos was demonstrated by an incident in which manager Dorival Jr. tried to suspend him for two weeks after an on-pitch disagreement, but the club's board not only sided with the player, but sacked the manager too. In 2011, With interest from Europe growing and growing, Neymar won the Puskas Award for the best goal scored that year for a brilliant, slaloming effort against Flamengo. Santos lost that game and Ronaldinho scored a hat-trick in a 5-4 win for Flamengo, but this was Brazil's newest and most brilliant hope, thoroughly outshining one of the old guard. Neymar told a journalist after the game that he wasn't thinking about anything at all as he danced towards goal. It was a completely instinctive show of his brilliance. The following year, he won the South American Footballer of the Year award, and the scrap to bring Neymar to Europe became more an exercise in pride and competitive negotiation than an effort to sign a footballer. Chelsea and Real Madrid were seriously interested, but in the end, Barcelona won the race, a triumph of status for the club, but one which cost them not only nearly over 80 million euros, but a long legal battle which resulted in the ousting of President Sandro Rosso. It wasn't viewed as universally wise, either. Neymar and Messi? Two captains on one boat doesn't work, said Johan Cruyff. But fears that Neymar and Messi couldn't work together were allayed pretty quickly, The Brazilian made his debut in a 7-0 win over Levante and scored one and set up another in his first Clásico. But it was in his second season that he truly made his mark. With the addition of Luis Suarez to form Barca's famous MSN forward line, Neymar scored 39 goals on the way to winning the treble, the second time in six years the club had achieved that feat. And between them, Neymar, Messi and Suarez managed an incredible 122 goals. While he was part of a brilliant trio for his club, Neymar alone was the main hope for Brazil from an early age. A petition was launched to persuade Dunga to take him to the 2010 World Cup, which he resisted, despite pressure from Romario and Pele. After Dunga's departure, he was the cornerstone of the 2012 Olympic team, and despite their loss to Mexico in the gold medal match, his reputation only grew. By the time the 2014 World Cup on home soil arrived, he had become not so much a footballer as a national icon. In the quarter-final win over Colombia, a knee in the back from Juan Zuniga broke one of Neymar's vertebrae and he missed the calamity that was the 7-1 defeat to Germany in the semi-final. Some sort of redemption was secured two years later as Neymar scored the winning penalty for his country in the Rio Olympics despite being booed by some for what they interpreted as off-pitch behaviour not appropriate for their national captain. Still, Neymar was at the peak of his powers, able to achieve anything he wanted with Barcelona, but this summer he chose to leave for a new challenge with PSG. 
While he was quick to point out that money wasn't the main factor in his decision, the numbers involved are staggering. The £198 million transfer fee, an annual salary of £26.8 million after tax, which breaks down to £515,000 a week, £73,571 per day and £3,065 per hour. It's estimated that, including the transfer fee, wages and bonuses, the deal could cost PSG upwards of £400 million. But if anyone's worth that, it could be the chosen one of Brazilian football.